The physical demands of music making can be intense, and musicians need to be physically fit to achieve the highest levels of performance. Variations in physiological signs of stress, energy expenditure, and cardiovascular demands have been documented and related to musicians' physical characteristics, instrument type, and the tempo of music performed, suggesting that the physical demands of performance are multiple and changeable. Consequently, musicians, who are sometimes referred to as athletes of the upper body, could benefit from being physically and mentally fit to perform at the highest levels. In order to offer targeted support and effective training in music schools and conservatoires worldwide, it is essential to understand music students' physical fitness at this critical stage in their professional development. Our study sought to assess the physical fitness of higher education music students. We recruited an international group of 483 instrumentalists and singers from 10 European conservatoires. Each musician took part in a comprehensive screening of body composition, blood pressure, lung function, strength and endurance, flexibility and range of motion, and cardiovascular fitness. These assessments included press-ups, the plank, and tests of grip strength and lung capacity. Our participants showed a standard profile based on body composition characteristics, resting blood pressure, and weekly engagement in physical activity, and they scored within age-appropriate ranges on lung function, shoulder range of motion, grip strength, and cardiovascular fitness. However, the findings also showed poor core and upper body strength and endurance, as seen in poor plank and press-up results, weak lower back and hamstring flexibility, as seen in the sit and reach results, and, despite good range of motion overall, some reported difficulties in shoulder rotation on the right side. Additionally, while most musicians met general physical activity recommendations, 21% of the sample did not, and the majority of physical activity reported was based on walking activity, which may not be sufficient to achieve full health benefits. While these results are generally positive in the wider context of university students' physical profiles, it is worth considering whether this state of moderate health is sufficient to perform music at the highest levels, especially considering the physical exertion required in the practice room and on stage, the high incidence of reported musculoskeletal problems in the upper body, and the general lack of health-promoting behaviours demonstrated in the other phase of this research. One in five student musicians were found not to meet the minimum guidelines of 30 minutes per day of physical activity for five days per week, highlighting the need for further action. Such action could include fitness monitoring, instruction on the structure and function of the body, and the enhancement of upper body strength and endurance training. Physical fitness should be taken seriously in music education settings and considered an integral part of comprehensive musical training informed by the demands of the profession. By deliberately including learning and support services related to health and physical, psychological and emotional well-being in students' timetables, and by expanding health-related provision more generally, we can increase knowledge, active participation and responsibility for health matters across the sector.